Gates and then Shannon Shackerly Bennett. Good morning, Commissioners. Amanda Rice, I'm from Cambria, which is a wonderful little village pretty much in the middle of nowhere and on the edge of the continent. We um, have about 6,000 people that live there, 4,500, about 4,500 full time, and we're located in one of only five native Monterey pine stands forests in the entire world. Our forest is experiencing major stress again for the second time in a couple of decades. The first being when pitch canker um, was introduced and killed a lot of the trees. And now with the drought, we have serious issues with the number of dead and dying trees. Fortunately for us, between the Forest Committee, CAL FIRE, our fire department, and the San Luis Obispo Fire Safe Council, we are hoping to get a grant from the state to fund uh, a power generator that will use the biomass that's taken out of the forest. So it will generate power for our wastewater treatment plant and it will also take care of um, all of the dead trees that we have to do something with. Because of the pitch canker, we would have to transport them out of the county. The power generator would allow us to actually be carbon, not just neutral, but carbon negative. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of positives to doing that since we have so many dead trees. We do have to do something about that. Um, to update you on um, the sustainable emergency water treatment facility, the public review draft of the EIR should be coming out by the end of this month and we're gearing up to turn it on to do another tracer test that's required to ensure high water quality. I also really want to take this moment to say thank you very much, especially to Commissioner Turnbull Sanders, but to all of you for paying attention to the affordability issues on the coast. And not just that, because it's not just about affordable accommodations and affordable housing. It's become much more difficult to have people who can afford to live there. Cambria is very isolated. Right now, between the Airbnb, the VRBO, the licensed vacation rentals, which are done through zoning, so it's almost impossible to take it away once it's allowed to be a vacation rental, the number of rental homes available for people who work in the community is almost zilch. And I've been looking, because I'm a renter, and the rents have gone sky high. So if you can find something, affordable is not what, it, is not what you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at something like 3000 for two bedrooms. So I really appreciate you bringing those issues forward, even though I know it's a little bit outside your purview. And I just wanted to say thank you thank for doing you that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Shannon Shackerly Bennett. 